Someone is caught up in the memories of this relationship. This is someone who fell from grace with your energy who is wanting to communicate. I feel this is someone who is thinking about you often, but I also feel this energy is very stubborn. This is someone who is set in their own ways, wanting to do things their way or no way. I feel doing things their way or no way has definitely led something to a very dark space. A space that they thought this connection with you would never get to. I feel this is someone who is concealing a lot of things behind the mask. This is someone who is watching and waiting, looking for an opportunity yet still sitting in a space of doom and gloom. This is someone who is truly unhappy. Unhappy with self, unhappy with choices, but this energy has done little to nothing to change. This is someone who is hiding their pain behind the mask. I feel there's a lot of pain and despair when it comes to this energy, yet they're still numbing the pain, yet they still do realize what they had with you was faded. Hmm. This is someone who knows the connection they had with, with you was meant to be, and they're wanting to communicate that to you, but someone also realizes they're stuck in their ways still not moving, still not making change. This energy is not open to receive. They're still exploring. This is someone who is still exploring even though they know that you are the key. They know or they feel that you will be patient, but I feel justice is being served. A final decision has possibly been made. I feel someone is wanting to communicate to you because they may need your help. A helping hand or just some support someone to listen to them whatever this is many of you have made a decision to do something different there's silence there's no words between the two of you I feel you could have gained some information or they could have gained some information especially when they're reflecting on the memories and the more they think of you the more they want to reach out to you I feel this is someone who contemplates on texting you or sending some type of message, but something keeps them in a space of delay or thinking they should wait. Someone is trying to fix their finances or improve in some type of way or just create some type of scenario where it seems like they are different when in fact they're just the same. I feel this is someone who is silent, but they know that the connection they had with you was special. They know without a shadow of a doubt something should have been forever. You were their end game. But I feel along the way someone got distracted. Someone was trying not to be weak behind you, or someone was different doing something for the thought of it, the appearances, someone cared too much about what others think. I feel this is someone who gave into something that got them lost. I feel this is someone who invests into the runner chaser dynamic. Someone wanted you to chase. And this is why they're still in the space of pointing fingers, not being accountable for their actions. And this is what causes many of you to feel they will never change. This is why a decision had to be made, whether they were involved or not. Many of you had to save self. Hmm. Now someone is struggling. I feel this is someone who is struggling with the fact that something ended the way that it did. This energy struggles because they can't reconnect with you. I feel them hiding behind a mask or not exposing what they truly feel keeps something at a distance. This is why things are silent. This is why things have yet to change. This is someone who is still keeping some type of secret, a hidden agenda when it comes to their tricks, their ways, or some type of illusion. I feel this is someone who is disconnected because of their confidence. This is someone who really doesn't trust themselves and even their own decisions. I feel they are disconnected when it comes to loyalty, respect, because they could be dealing with a very sticky situation that causes them to be aloof, unbothered, very distant. I feel this is someone who is always trying to numb the pain, suppressing emotions, ideas, their intuition, and the fact that they are numbing the pain or numbing the energy when it comes to their intuition is the reason why they have yet to come your way and reconnect. I feel them hiding behind this mask keeps them in a space where they're hiding, hiding within an illusion, something that they have made up to just stand what they're going through or survive the pain. This is why they're struggling.
This is why they're confused in their own chaos. I feel this is someone who is numbing the pain when it comes to karmic interferences or even their stone heart because many of you feel like they fail to care for you in the way that they should. There was no compassion. There was no warmth when they disrespected you. And this is why many of you feel like they just have a cold heart. They're never flexible. They're never listening to you. Now it's like a free-for-all. This is someone who's falling from grace in a very big way. And they're fragmented, battered, broken, damaged. Many of you see this energy as damaged goods because they have some likable ways, but this energy always gives in to the wrong things. Things that keep them distant, aloof, unbothered by the choices they make because they're too consumed by appearances. Yet I feel their actions have only caused something to be set in stone over time. Many of you are no longer waiting. I feel many of you are sitting into a space where time has given you the chance to find a space of grounding yourselves, a source of stability, and many of you are still sitting in a cycle where you're still trying to understand this mess. I feel there's solitude as well. Um, so I feel this is cloudy judgment from someone who is yet to be rooted within themselves. There's no value. There's no connection. There is no transition. And I also feel this is someone who is willing to give in to tradition. You're coming out as the potter and they are the clay. This is a situation where you were having to mold someone and they were refusing to move into tradition or accept the position that they had to play. I feel this is someone who saw something as a game, a runner-chaser dynamic that definitely fell apart. There's no loyalty, there was no respect. This is someone who was always pointing fingers because they were too immature to what you were trying to offer them. Now there's a lot of lessons, hard lessons and sacrifices. There's a lot of lessons to be learned when it comes to someone who just wanted to be free. Free of responsibility, choices, and even love. This is someone who feels like love hurts, so they don't give in to it. This is someone who has a failed past when it comes to love, and this is why they don't trust the love that you bring, even though they know it's authentic. This energy is just wounded. And as I said before, very damaged. This is someone who sees themselves as a the puppet master. This is why it always seems like they're playing games with your heart, because they are. This is someone who loves you in various ways, but they don't know how to love authentically, without compromise and without condition. I feel this is someone who wants to receive from you, yet they're still exploring, even though they know that you are the key. They feel like you should be patient with them, even though they know they have yet to change. However, I do see lightning striking here. There will be sudden change, unexpected events that take place in the summertime. I see something escalating when it comes to the dangers that they have invested in. There's a lot of caution here that will leave them broken. Broken and possibly even looking for you. There's a lot of grief and sadness. This is someone who feels you don't know their pain, but I feel it's the same pain they gave to you if not worse. I feel this is someone who wanted their freedom. Now they could be in solitude, even though they're still exploring. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to lose themselves, but they have failed to realize they have already lost themselves in a very sticky situation that is very difficult to release. I feel them holding on to something keeps them stagnated, aloof, distant, unbothered, still sitting in a space where they feel like things are working out for them because they have yet to see their choices and their mistakes are truly working against them. This is why they're sitting in a space of struggle, doom and gloom. Things are definitely falling to the wayside. Someone feels like their life is in shambles or going down in quicksand. I feel this is someone who had a lot of choices to make, yet they always chose the easy way out. And this is why they're always pointing fingers and never being accountable for their own choices and even their mistakes. Let's get a little bit more energy here. 
I feel like it's a song for from Grace. Hmm. That is now stuck. Stuck in a space that they never thought that they would be in. And they can't stop obsessing over the fact that they didn't listen. They didn't listen to your commitment issues and even the pain from the past. I feel this is someone who fell from grace with you, who now feels stuck. They feel stuck between pointing fingers and dealing with their guilty conscience. As it seems they're doing everything they can not to give in to it. As they have somehow convinced themselves, you gave up on them. Even though they know they did little to nothing to change. And they are completely the reason why things are different. Yet they're refusing to acknowledge how their words or actions played a role in how things have changed or will never be the same. I feel this is someone who's got a lot to fess up to, especially when it comes to hidden secrets or their self-centered ways. This is someone who's dealing with a lot of self-doubt, all because of their poor habits, weak boundaries, and hidden feelings. I feel there's also a lack of self-care. The more they can't care for self, the more this energy is unable to care for you. But I also feel the memories of the past is always on their mind, yet they're still thinking about how they look running back to you. I feel this is someone who is giving you the cold shoulder even though they know they're obsessed with the thought of you. They're dealing with some very suffocating situations that are very delicate. And they're wanting to walk away as they always do, but they're holding back something. They feel like the damage has already been done and they could be trying to hold on to what they have, even if it's nothing to hold on to. I feel the veil has been lifted. And they know they can't avoid the truth anymore. They know things are out of balance because of their twisted way of thinking, but someone is still trying not to give in to their guilty conscience. In fact, I feel they're giving you the cold shoulder because they still don't know how to deal with what they're feeling. They're still seeking attention and in the dark. I feel this energy is in the dark because they're trying to deal with some unfamiliar energies of depression and they're lost for words for how something ended with you. I feel this is someone who is lost for words because they know they played a lot of games. Now there is deep despair because they know they waited too long to shed the old, to bring in something new. Now it seems this energy is being stripped down to nothing. This is someone who's still fighting what they feel and they're drowning in weaknesses and desires because they lack change. They're dealing with a lot of limiting restrictions and beliefs that they have imposed on self. I hope it's someone who is all in their head about the changes that have been made in their own life as well as with you but they're still not realizing they're the reason things have changed with you. And they're also the reason why you may see them in a different light. I feel for many of you, you don't see them as you used to, even though you still have pockets of love for them, you're no longer wanting to deal with the disrespect, the disappointment of them playing games with your heart. I feel this is someone who is dealing with a very suffocating situation and they're trying to see themselves through it. This energy is trying to weather the storm, but they can't get past the doom and the gloom. They feel like nothing will ever change, so why try? This is why they're continuing to struggle. This is someone who's possibly getting bad advice from those they feel they should, should or could trust, but I feel the circle that they have put themselves in is not a very reliable source or reliable energies. Yet I also feel they're going to have to learn that the hard way as well. Now there's money issues here. Temptation. This person's heart is all in knots because they care too much about what others, pe others think. How others perceive them. Which may also be another reason why they have yet to make things right with you. They're still dealing with temptation. Someone doesn't want you to know that their finances are off. Things are changing around them. And I feel this is another reason why they're trying to stay at a distance. Even though this energy is drawn to you in every way, they're not clear on how to really respect you. I feel like this energy never had to put in the effort in the past. And this is why they're struggling to give you what you need or give you what they know you deserve. 
And this is why they're still hiding behind this mask. Many of you took a risk when dealing with this energy. You know love is a gift, but I feel this energy doesn't see things that way. I feel you took a risk on love when dealing with this energy, but I feel the chemistry in this connection only turned out to be an illusion because they end up walking away. This energy ended up walking away because they cared about what others thought or this energy had a fear of what they were missing out on. Yet I sense all of these temptations and weaknesses. It was all an illusion, a test, a test that they clearly failed. Hmm. This is someone who walked away from tradition, a twin flame, a soul contract for an illusion. Something that is now an afterthought. I feel whatever this person invested in is no longer in the picture. And if it is, there is no longer any type of connection. Someone is seeing through the real. Someone is seeing through the fake. I feel this energy did not make healthy choices when it comes to the connection they had with you. They only made things difficult because of their temptations or financial factors. I feel this is someone who was being very petty or materialistic when they hurt you. I feel things are silent right now and things are taking a turn for the worse because this energy took a lot of sacrifices. Hmm. Leaving something up in the air. So, I feel many of you took a chance when dealing with this situation, even though you knew something was off. But I feel your heart is so big, you still gave in to someone who was just not ready for you. I feel it wasn't the fact that this energy didn't care. They just don't know how to love the way you do. This is why things are disconnected and something has been left in the air and there is little to no communication. Because they are unable to open up. Yet this energy is still holding some type of resentment towards you because they feel like you just gave up on them. When I sense you did what you had to do. I feel this energy is under pressure, triggered, because you have gained some type of closure or clarity. And if you haven't received that closure, you're getting closer to it. Someone is triggered by the fact that you may be moving or moving on, going away, or this energy feels like something is no longer connected or the two of you are no longer in the same space that you used to be in. This energy feels like your heart is unavailable. I feel like it's not that your heart is unavailable. You had to put your guard up when dealing with someone who doesn't know how to maintain or love you the right way. They always end up breaking your heart, causing more pain. I feel this is someone who wants you to be with them no matter what no matter how they act or what they do someone thought that you should always be connected in every way even though there's a lot of ups and downs or even extreme mood swings this energy thought that you would always be there this is why they're triggered and possibly even angry someone feels like you just should have stayed and someone feels like you should have stayed together even though they were faking it. Not being honest, not being real. This is someone who felt like no matter what they put you through, you should have stuck around. Even though being with them or loving them was very difficult. I felt this is someone who was faking it and they wanted this connection to be forever. But I feel this is someone who's addicted to toxicity, constant drama which caused something to be a very challenging journey for you. I feel this is someone who has a lot of player ways, who hides their true feelings, as well as hiding behind their lies. I feel this is someone who did a lot of things in a toxic way because they felt like that's what's gonna keep you chained to them or tied to them. But as I said before, this is someone who really doesn't know how to love or keep someone attached to them. They don't believe in love the way you do. I feel you had to discover that as well on your own because now you realize opposites do not attract and this was not a dream come true. This is someone who has other lovers or other energies surrounding them and this is why they're reckless when it comes to you because they feel they have other options. Yet I sense these resources or options are starting to dry up and this is why they can't stop thinking about you. But I feel this is someone who can't be in the present. This is someone who can't be in the moment. They're reckless when it comes to affairs of the heart. 
and unfortunately it's going to be hard to get them to compromise and heal that just might not be in the future for many of you you're no longer triggered or disappointed by their actions or absence while others just might think of them from time to time but it doesn't override the drama and the pain they put you through because not only do you still have the memories whether good or bad you also still have questions that have never been answered and without sorting out the past you can only expect the same cycles to continue with someone who still doesn't know their own truth and most importantly know your worth i hope you guys have enjoyed the reading